Today, I am very happy to welcome New York Times bestselling author Todd Goldberg, who's here to talk about his latest book, Gangsters Don't Die. This is the third in your Gangsterland series. Started with Gangsterland and then Gangster Nation. And if I had been smart, this would be Gangster Planet. But, but, <laughs> no one's ever claimed I was that bright, Patrick. All right. Um, you developed these characters over several years, but you, yeah. this kind of stemmed from a short story that you wrote. Yeah, so the main character of the book is uh, Rabbi David Cohen. Um, and in 2008, I wrote a short story called Mitzvah about a Chicago hitman named Sal Cupertine who hides out in Las Vegas as the Rabbi David Cohen. And so that's, that's the genesis of it. Um, the character might also bear a slight resemblance to the novelist. I'm just saying. Just a little but bit. But only at Trader Joe's. Only if you cut me in line, Patrick. <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, I want to talk uh, a little bit about your history because yeah. you grew up right here I in did. the Coachella Valley. Yep. Your mom w wrote for the paper for 40 plus years. Yeah. <laughs> well, not 40 years. <laughs> it seems that way to the people she disparaged. Yeah, my mom uh, was the society columnist for the Desert Sun for many years, um, which, you know, back then meant her job was to write sort of gossipy columns date half the people that she was writing about. And then the people she were dating, which is some of the inspiration here, were often sort of C-level capos in the Bonanno crime family. <laughs> and then, you know, former celebrities. But yeah, I, I grew up here, went to Palm Springs High School. I graduated nominally in 1989. <laughs> but, you know, and you, t you talk about, we, I, we've had conversations off the air about this, but uh, sometimes some of the, the guys that your mom dated do show up in some form or another. So yeah. you were writing this from a, a really genuine place. You experienced these guys. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's genuine. I mean, I, I was always inspired by these men that my mom met. Uh, you know, she would date these guys who would, they'd show up to our house in a, in a uh, like a limousine, and they, but they'd be driving it. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be in the back of it. <laughs> Not the passenger. Which is a very odd thing, but they'd crawl through the back and then get out the back door just in case the neighbors were looking. So these were always guys that were not quite on the level, and they would tell me stories, and they were always sort of fascinating characters. But the thing that I got from it, even at a young age, was how transactional the desert is and how there's something sort of insidious in a resort town. And that stayed with me from the time I was a teenager till the moment I finished writing that well, book. You know, resort towns, of course, I mean, people come here from all over, so you get an incredible variety of people, and then you get an incredible variety of people who are trying to separate those tourists from their money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of moneyed people come here, so it's yeah. kind of ripe for that sort of... Yeah, and I'm fascinated by the notion of identity. You know, I've always written, in all my books, this is my 16th book, I've always written about people who seem to be one thing on the surface, and then they're another thing really on the inside. But isn't that all of us when we're on vacation? You know, you show up here and you would never wear that Hawaiian shirt in Montana. And then you get here and you're wearing Tommy Bahama like it was tattooed on your skin. We all have somebody else living inside yes, us. Yes, absolutely. It, well, and I love, I love the, the main character, uh, Rabbi Cohen, the depth and the, the kind of just duality of him. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really fun to read. Yeah, and it's a, it's a lot of fun to write. And this being the, the concluding book, um, you know, I, I started this series, the first novel, Gangsterland, came out in 2014. So it's nearly 10 years of my life in print time, but much longer in writing time that I've devoted to this character. And I felt with this book that I really needed to stick the landing. I needed to, to tie up loose ends, but I also needed to give every character in the book the ending that they deserve. I encourage you to grab this, Gangsters Don't Die, and if you haven't gotten the other two in the series, do that as well. These are available everywhere you shop for books. Uh, again, New York Times bestselling author Todd Goldberg and Valley Local, thank you for coming on the program. My pleasure, Patrick. Thank and you. And thanks for all the great entertainment. Oh, thanks.